Hey guys, welcome back to another little Minecraft video editing tutorial. As always, this is Uljin. Guys, I was on my way back from work today and I started thinking about some stuff. Now, I've been getting a couple of offers here and there to do some animation or get some animation done for my video intros and y'all all know how I like my editing and intros. So what I decided to do is play around with my own ideas about animation and this is not using any kind of sophisticated software outside of Vegas or another type of video editing software, not animation software is what I'm getting at. So, a couple things I want to show you. First of all, I have here something called Minecraft Skin Viewer. Now, if you check the video description, there'll be a link below so you can download it. It's a real simple free program available on the Minecraft forums. What you could do is you can take a skin, any kind of skin, whether you downloaded it or something from the public Minecraft forums, uh, servers, and you can put it right in here with any type of background that you select. There's animations, there's all kind of other stuff that you could do. I've used this for, t for time and time again for different intros, but this time it's a little bit different. So you can also take any specific body part and move it around. Now what I, what I wanna do today is Zul'jin's always been affiliated with Cobblestone. I'd like to have Zul'jin look up to the left and hold up. A piece of floating cobblestone kind of like I do in the cobblestone chronicles just an idea I've been playing around with so if you look at the screen here I've taken all of these little clips and basically what I did is just start out at default and we'll go with position default and I just moved and I right click save image as and I saved them as all of these files so I did that a ton of times until the position was semi right here I held that for a little bit and then I moved his head back here like he was looking back at the camera. So with that said, let's go ahead and minimize this, break out to Sony Vegas, and we want to import all of these clips. Now because it was done on that transparent background, I shouldn't have anything to worry about here. Let me just go ahead and capture all of these little clips. Oh, I hate when that happens, right? There we go. If you drag a little bit while the control he's, keys is held, it'll just copy everything. All right, so now I have all these files. Another thing that I wanna do is open up Fraps. Now you guys, if y'all haven't checked out my green screen tutorials, there'll be a link in the description below as well. But here I have a video, something, a, a simple little zoom that I did on a piece of cobblestone on the green screen platform. So I'll go ahead and move that into my Sony Vegas works project media all right so now that I have and this doesn't need to be Sony Vegas it can be anything with chroma key just so you could use green screen Sony movie studio and Adobe will work fine as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first thing now if you just play this clip it's a simple picture nothing happens okay well if you take the second picture and put it around halfway in and play it what will happen is it will transition to that second clip just like that Okay, now there's a little bit of blur involved and it's also a little short. So what we want to do is we want to zoom in as far as possible and we want to take these clips down to around one second. And that's just about right here. You can actually zoom and make this really finite if you wanted to, but it's not really necessary. So one second is fine, somewhere around there. Okay, so we'll take our second clip and move it about two thirds of the way in and reduce that to about a second as well take our third clip and so on and so forth and I'll just uh, sp I'll just speed this up for you guys Alright guys, so now that we got our clips all in place here, let's go ahead and play it just to show you kind of what it looks like. This is real slow choppy and every transition is a little bit blurry. So there's a couple things we can do here. One, if we would have taken every single clip and shortened it much shorter than it already is, the transitions would have been a little bit smoother. But there's a couple things you could do and one of them is fast forward this. And what I want to do is I want to take all of these clips and make them faster. 
So the first thing I want to do is position this to where it can be really where I want it to. Let's put it on the side right here. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a video track and take that render of that cobblestone and put it right there. We'll delete the audio track since I did it with fraps and then we'll chroma key it out and we'll just hit the plus chroma keyer and change it to green just by eye dropping it and we'll move our thresholds in place to where the cobblestone comes through clear. Now we can take our track motion and move it right above Zuljin's hand and when we get it to the point to where we want it to be about right there we'll go ahead and fade it in so now when we play it as soon as Zuljin's hand comes up the cobblestone will appear and start floating in it then he'll look back at the camera that's exactly what we want. Now that we have our animation set up guys, I need to make it flow a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround this entire clip, right click on it, switches, and disable resample. Okay? Then I'm going to render it out. And I'm just going to do this as 720p in ABC format and call it test. I'll put test 2 because I don't know if I already have a test on the desktop. So we'll save test. That'll render out right quick. And if I speed this clip up, it should show pretty darn smooth. At least I'm hoping for it, at least. There we go. So now, if I pull out my episodes folder, where this would have rendered to actually nope I have it on my desktop let's go ahead and pull this out and I'll pull out test 2 I'll go ahead and delete these tracks and I'll press my cursor here and hold control and I'll speed it up now let's play it from the beginning not quite fast enough. Speed it up some more. Not too shabby. Well guys, that about sums up this tutorial on Minecraft video editing. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it gives you some ideas on the things that you could do for your intros to make them a little bit better. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps and I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. This is Old Jen signing off. Have a good one.